Hey guys, Cruel Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are back with Gravity Falls. Everybody nod your head if you love Gravity Falls. It's good. Good show. We love it. <laughs> oh, they're stuck on there. Let this me tell you. Good. <laughs> I, was, I thought you were going to be like, oh, no, it's pretty good. Uh, last time on Gravity Falls? Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. With Brenda. Yeah. Walking Cindy. bodies Cindy. thanks to a carpet. Cindy. Magic money pants. It's Brenda. another secret room. Birds and bees. Indeed. Dan hid some Why glasses from and took the carpet away. It was the hidden glasses. Who yes. stole the carpet? And Susan's was big, which is great. He almost got married. Yep. True. I haven't seen my two nephews for a bit, but this weekend we're getting together for the holidays, and Kenny said that they've been talking about what it's like when someone hasn't seen how much you've seen and what a spoiler is, because they really love Gravity Falls, but you can't talk to Uncle Eric about it. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah, spoilers are tough to, like, Explain. quantify, I guess. Yeah. I have a theory that that the little, the little shit kid who's constantly trying to... Gideon. Gideon, who's constantly trying to steal the mystery shack from Stan. Grunkle Stan. He's actually Grunkle Stan. That's why he's trying to get the mystery shack. Uh, so Grunkle Stan isn't Grunkle Stan, but Gideon Grunkle is Grunkle Stan. Grunkle Stan is Gideon. And Gideon Very is quick, Grunkle what's the name Stan. of the teenager girl that works there? <laughs> Fueled my butt. Oh, okay. oh, they're narrating. Okay. They're playing that Who's Land game. Yep. Oh no, she got into the smile dip again. <laughs> They all look like uh, times. <laughs> That's an oddity. Oh God. We're not threatening. <laughs> We're not threatening. You know, there's probably a machine that mass produces them. Oh, or maybe the boys are grown from pods. Yeah, pods. <laughs> oh no, are they gonna be grown from pods? Yeah. Dude, they're so alike. <laughs> I'm okay. What's in there? No. Right. <laughs> they keep get pointing out that that it's, machine. It's close. Chubby. Jesus. First, you stand me up last night, and instead of apologizing, you want me to go to Lookout Point? I'll just be over here. Look, yeah, Rob. Yeah. I'm not sure this relationship's working. I want you to hear this. I made this song for you. Hope this works. What the hell? Is it like a spell? Just like a siren listen song. to this song, and you'll be hypnotized. Get roof here. Is there a you mysterious ready? nature to it or not? Wait, where'd it go? That for me. I know. It was right there. Oh, that's there. Talented. For a fool, Aaron. It wasn't there, then it was there, then it wasn't there. It's right there. Hmm. Jesus left. Girls mature faster than guys, right, Grinda? Mm. Oh, this is Grinda time! Yes, I welcome you, Death. It's her Winnie whole the, hand. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. The brown Talk meat. Talk to me for the apocalypse. doodle a doo We're all gonna die. Robbie might be brainwashing Wendy with music. I've seen this before. Oh, wow. He looks so good. Then one day, this new age tree hugger starts playing this transcendental hippie music. Man, fucking Carlos sucks. Get someone else. My memories <laughs> get a little hallucination at the end, but you get the gist. <laughs> so wait, you actually believe my theory? You're darn right I do, and we're gonna get to the bottom of it. Squeeze that can. I love you, Dave Chris! He was talking to me! He said me specifically! Yeah. Get him! Said you were right. we want to give you Are they gonna find pods? Kisses. Yep. Look. What was behind that curtain back there? Maybe they also had the coffee machine. Aha! Uh -huh, cloning uh, tubes! Look at it! 
Oh, it has a mustache. <laughs> what the heck? Why is there? That's terrifying. Oh my gosh. This is terrifying if this is live action. It's like farming the people in Minecraft. Kingpin! It is Kingpin. What is wrong with you boys? Here you go, gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't disrespect. My bad. <laughs> Yo, I heard tell about these things called trees. I don't know what they are, but I want to kiss one. But we can't disobey Mr. Bratzman. If he loved you, he'd set you free. Oh, true yeah, that, true that. that. That's a valid perspective. <laughs> Let's go right now. <clears throat> Me and my friends can help you escape. It's not like they couldn't fit through these giant stars. bars. Even the music I play in the gift shop has subtle hidden oh. messages. Buy more keychains! Buy more keychains! <laughs> so subtle. Give me that LP! It's, it's no. a... No. Oh, God. And what's in the bag? Uh, money! Money we stole! We are criminals. We will cut you! <laughs> <laughs> we are criminals. We will cut you. <laughs> he still came out like... <laughs> oh, man. Did Chub Chub find him already? Oh, yeah. Maybe he's tracking him. Yeah, they are chips in them. Hey, kill that you flower. There. I found this trail of frosted tips leading to this very location. Have you seen any perfect boys around here? Only when I look in the mirror. <laughs> Up top. Good for you, Sue. self confidence I feel like I can picture shoot, this voice actor, shoot. but I can't. <laughs> in the meantime, you could stay here with us. Whoa, whoa, yeah. 2013! Girls, do you realize what's be. happening here? We have our very own pet boy band that we can do whatever we want with. Remember. It took all day, but I converted it to a record. And now we can slow it down. To see I think there's easier ways. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they don't have the technology here. Spit take, here I come. Oh, this was so stupid. Of course, there's no hidden mind Backwards. control messages. Catch you on the rewind. <laughs> I mean, rewind it. Holy mackerel! Now that is your spit take. I gotta say, Wendy. Finally, a good reason to punch a teenager in the face. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Dance. He doesn't need him. Erdman Bratzman has been arrested. He was pulled over tonight for not having a rear license plate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the goat took it. <laughs> That's what they all say. <laughs> they were gonna hit him. Yeah, they were. They were about to. <gasps> He's him. handcuffed. <laughs> That's so fast. Uh, They're she not going Let anywhere. Them go, Mabel. <gasps> we have to tell the boys. Now Wait, she's no, the evil producer. Let's not be so hasty. But I love them. If you love them, you to set them free. Never. Candy. You guys, Berkman Bratzman is in jail. Remove these two from the premises, please. Oh no, I'm trying to help. Oh no, they're aggressively dancing at us. Call me Deep Chris. 2013. <sighs> Road safety laws prepare to be ignored. No vehicles. Jeez. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Wendy! Mr. Pines? That's Mr. Pines to you! What? That's what I just said. in the car? Wendy. You kick those lion shoulders out. Take them out, y'all. I'm starting to feel Take guilty out, here. Other folks we could never trust. But we know that you never lie to us. Mabel girl, we know you love us so. It bothers me that one of them doesn't have this one. That's why I've got to let you go. Oh. Robbie, what's that doing in our song? You said you wrote that song for me, and I actually thought it was sweet, you big liar. I know, I know. I lie about a lot of stuff, like using your makeup and fighting a bear, although... No, it... you know what? It's over, Robbie. We're through. What? This is a victory for every guy whose hands are too weak or fat to play a musical instrument. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have done it without you, Grunkle Stan. Ha! Maybe bowling or something? Are you serious? Right now? Ugh! What is wrong with guys? Look, if it makes you feel any better, the apocalypse is coming soon. Bury your gold. You've been buying gold, right? <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like a conspiracy theorist, doesn't he? A catchy song made me realize that you are right. A catchy song. Can you ever forgive me? Of course! You're free! 
They will not survive in the wild. No, they'll be dead by tomorrow. Yeah. You can do anything you want to do. Crazy. Go anywhere you want to go. Goodbye, girl. You can get like eaten by a bear. Yep. That won't last a week. You ruin their day, drive their hippie boyfriend's van into a ravine, and somehow you're the bad guy. <laughs> no, it's my fault. I shouldn't have meddled in Lenny's personal life. You can always go bowling with me. Thanks, Uncle Stan. Don't mention it, kid. <laughs> Wait a second. Is something rooting through our trash? Hey, hey, get out of here! <laughs> Darn beautiful men. Always <laughs> getting out of my trash. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What's <laughs> <laughs> in the tree, mm. man? 2013. <laughs> What's that mean? Happy now, Ariel. Question mark. Happy now, Ariel? Ariel. Like Ariel? A R I E L. Like, like Little mermaid. 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 Happy now, Ariel. Hmm. Don't That's get that weird. One. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Ariel loses her voice. Uh, she can no longer sing. There was singing here. That song was taken away from Robbie, so he couldn't roofie his girlfriend. Hmm. Wait, I Carla? I don't remember any Ariel. Maybe a clue for the next thing? Maybe. Don't know. We'll That's the mis most though. mysterious one so far. Very mysterious. Maybe Happy we have now. to listen to it backwards. Ariel. Ooh. Yeah, what is it? What's Happy Now? Ariel backwards. They say something before we get to Pyramid Men in, in the beginning. I wonder if we do that backwards. If there's something. Will they like whisper, you know? Yeah, three letters back. If only we had the technology. Libra one hippa. That's pretty good. I like how they uh, the rewind to like play it backwards. Is that that's like almost a clue for you to do that in the beginning, right? Yeah. Happy now, Ariel. Don't know. Don't know. Well, what do you guys think? The boy band uh, clones. Um, the boy band thing was interesting. I like the uh, I like the other thing with Dipper more. With like, where did he get this mysterious? Which like, we where did he know. get this disc that was inside like the yeah Necromonicon. Like, Forbidden Temple uh -huh. kind of thing? Yeah, I don't he know. He stole going it there. from somewhere, and that has some magic power. If he understood that it had power, why did he leave it behind? Maybe he didn't he got, he got understand. He might have just been like, music does stuff. Yeah. Like, I just will lie about writing the song for her, and, and that's and it, what did it. It did what he needed to do, so he didn't need it anymore. Maybe. Because he also, like, he was singing it, right? Yeah. He was. But, but he said he stole. The bass track was somebody else. Yeah, so maybe he stole the instrumental version Yeah. that had this little message in it. That could be. I could see that being a thing. And it has to have been some type of magical, supernatural ability, right? It's not, because you can't, she can't understand that yeah. messaging. Sure. Who is the, the manager? The manager? I don't, oh, I don't know. Um, manager from what? Ken Hudson Campbell. Which is not the guy that I was picturing. Oh. The promoter? He's Max from Armageddon, the big guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. The... Mm -hmm. You know the big guy from yeah. He's Mama. man in hallway in Groundhog Day. He's the Santa in Home Alone, That's the one who gives him the candy cane. Yeah. Um, he's in Down Periscope. Oh yeah, he's the cook. They don't want to pay taxes. This, this guy. Mm -hmm. No, what I was uh, excited about was that the the boy band, all the voices. I was like, okay, it's gonna be one person doing this yeah. voice. Who is it? And I'm like, is it like Justin Timberlake? There's no reason he would be doing it. I can't see him coming here to do this. But maybe, but it was Lance Bass. Lance Bass, oh, okay. Uh, okay. I guess Joey Fatone, he does a lot of stuff. No, he's the fat one. This one yeah. I was going to guess one. whoever did Chip Skylark from Fairly, Fairly Odd Parents. I don't know who did that one. He's all right, though. Actually, speaking of uh, Joey Fatone, he, they had a, uh, on Disney Plus, they had a boy band holiday, mm -hmm. and Joey Fatone was on it, and he brought in Chris Kirkpatrick, and then he brought in, like, what was there? There was, like, two guys from uh, Boys to Men. There was like 98 degrees, except for Nick Lachey. Mm -hmm. um, sure. There was, I think, a New Kids on the Block. Like there was like different members from like all these different like boy bands throughout like time and stuff like that too. And there's a few of them like I don't think we're a boy band. I'm like yeah, close enough. <laughs> it's kind of like what happened in it. But it was kind of interesting. It was kind of fun. It was more fun than the CMA gotcha. one, the country music one that they did. Sure. They also did one huh. of those. Melanie watched that. 
And then the next day, she's like, Aaron, you picked something to watch. I'm like, okay. Oh, look at this. I picked the boy band one. She goes, that was better than the one I picked. <laughs> <laughs> so, good job, Joey Fatone. Nice. No, I like how just hamster-like the boy band people were. It never got old. Sure. It continued yeah. to be funny. It's just a satire of that, like, being created by the music industry, right? Like, that's yeah. the idea. Mm-hmm. Which is it's, all, it's all a facade yeah. kind of thing. Which is, like, that's kind of true. There was one of the guys in that thing that was talking about how, like, like some of the older boy bands, they were like, hey, we knew each other, we met each other, we made a band, and we did this. Whereas this other guy was, like, in a show to create a boy band. Sure. And that's where their boy band came to yeah. be. And it was like, well, that one is literally being made to try to make a boy band where these guys at least knew each other and made a thing. Yeah. It's like the monkeys. The Beatles. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. One Direction. Jonas Brothers. No, they were probably made. Is BTS a boy band? Yeah. Uh, hey, the Jackson Bob. 5. That, yeah, but that had girls in it. So it can't be a boy band. It's like a, a girl. What's, a, what's the girl groups called? Oh, like Spice Girls? Yeah, like Spice Girls, Destiny's Child. Like There were like girl groups and there were boy groups, you know? Like this boy band, but I don't think it's like a girl. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. I'm yeah. looking for alliteration, but I can't find it. That's probably what my problem is. Yeah, because you don't want to call them a group, because that's just doesn't define why they're known. Sure. All my creative suggestions are inappropriate. Yeah, I have one that's very inappropriate. <laughs> Only one. Uh, lady lyri- lyricists. Yeah, there you go. That's what is it? a liar? The they just call them girl bands, I guess. <laughs> Or a girl group. Mm-hmm. No. In, in that same thing, the pop thing there, uh, Mel C. Oh, up. not Mel B. Not Mel B from Spice Girls, but Mel C, which is Sporty Spice, uh-huh. showed up and said, oh, yeah, think, you know, yeah, you can use my cabin. It's fine. It's my extra cabin. They're like, we're having, our, all the girl groups are up this way doing another one. So, oh, maybe you can come visit that sometime. <laughs> so the, it kind of hit it. Like, maybe next time they'll do a, like a girl group one. I'm sure this oh, is cool. a 40-year-old argument that's been played out, but you can't call them a band, right? They're just singers. Bands have instruments. I mean, they I mean, have... instruments involved in it. Yeah, yeah, but they're not playing them. I mean, Someone is, is. Is the lead singer yeah. part of a band when the rest of the band yeah, plays instruments? I would say so. But you know all the band members. Do you? Whereas, like, the Backstreet Boys, like, do you know who played drums on the Backstreet Boys? Do you know all the members of... I mean, like, I don't, but people that are fans of that band do. Like, Michael Jackson... Like, there's other people playing yeah. those instruments, but you wouldn't call it the Michael Jackson band. Yeah. Right? Like, there's Dave Matthews and the Dave Matthews band. <laughs> <laughs> there's Hootie and the Blowfish. It's just two people. There's the Foo Fighters. They're a band, you know? It's not just Dave Grohl. Yeah, what about the rest of them? Friends. What's the rest of them called? I don't know their names. Exactly. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not the point. It you is. said, like, yeah, they're a band, but you don't know who else everybody is. I mean, fans of the band do. But you're a fan of like the I'm Foo Fighters, aren't you? Of, of Metallica. Yeah, name I mean, the whole band. I have Lars. Lars what? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. we're going really hard on this. No. You are. <laughs> but, you get my point, no, right? They're they're singers. They're not a band. It's, yeah, but it's an singers, ensemble band. singer band. Is Pentatonix a band? I don't think so. They're a cappella. Sure. Yeah, but it's, it's an a cappella group. Yeah, group. Like like there's no there's no musical instruments involved. But they're still making like Beyonce music. isn't a one-person band, or not. A, she's not a band. She's a singer, and then she has people behind her that do the stuff, like the Backstreet Boys. I guess calling the boy band just seems like incorrect. How do you know they don't play instruments? I'm sure they do. Like the Beatles were a boy. Every band. time I've seen them, they never have. Like you're saying, Beatles a boy band because they all play, yeah, they, they all played instruments. Ringo did yeah. the drums, and yeah. McCartney did the yeah, whatever. Yeah. lead vocals. Someone played guitar. But I mean, he... Like Cartney. Nirvana is a boy band. He's his vocals on there. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And yeah, I can only name one of Nirvana. Well, Dave Grohl. Well, two. Oh, he was in Foo Fighters. He, no, he, he, he was the in... drummer in Nirvana, and then he became the singer in Foo Fighters. Oh, really? Yeah. After you didn't know that? Kurt Cobain no, I don't know song. anything about any of them. Huh. I, don't, I, I, I like music, I like songs, but I don't usually look into bands too much. I'm not a music guy. Yeah, I don't know a lot. I just wonder if that's... I'm, but this sounds like something that... 
has been discussed ad nauseum, and I should bring it up. <laughs> Probably. Now Probably. that we're no longer in the era of the boy band. Sure. I yeah. just wonder if, like, people that are really into bands Best. hated the idea of calling the boy bands. Because they're just a group of singers. Well, I'm sure, like, people who were making real music. Yeah. yeah. Like, these fuckers. That's sure. not music. Yeah. <laughs> You're sure. not a band. You're just three boys singing. They didn't have autotune. Back in the day. New Kids in the Block, they're just singers. <clears throat> yeah. And dancers, dancers, too. And dancers. But that's usually been a part of it, right? Yeah. Like synchronized dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes good, sometimes not. Mm-hmm. Just depended. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. I they're performers. Remove them of their title of boy band. I do. I do yeah. want to. Why? Why, though? <clears throat> And it means nothing to me, but I do. <laughs> it means something to you. They've already you lost so take much something Eric. away from them. I was, we had that discussion about cameos the other day, and I want to talk about bands. I forget what sides everyone was on about cameos. I That's not a cameo. Why not a cameo? I'm not. Uh, uh, I don't know. So it seems like Robbie and Wendy have broken up. For, For now. Another time. They've hey. broken up so many times, Rick. Have they? Yeah. Well, they obviously broke up before this. There's at least been two. Well, this was more like a fight, I feel like, at the beginning of this. This feels like a breakup. I don't know. They've had breakups before. What's the difference? The difference? There's a difference. No. They broke up no, during not. that one time travel <laughs> episode don't. when Dipper was trying to, to be with Wendy before he got back with her. I've been through a like plethora made up and stuff. of all of them from little to big. They're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you don't know until time tells if sure. it was a breakup I guess, or a fight. Yeah. They never get back together again, and they yeah, yeah, it was a break. Either it's a breakup or a break. <laughs> yeah. We were on a break. The one episode of Seinfeld, mm. the girl's like, no. What's the what's what? <laughs> what's, a, <laughs> what's a, a breakup besides a fight? Just, it starts just, as a fight. It's yeah, like right. a, a breakup is an ending of a relationship. Well, it's like what's a volcano, but it's an a earthquake. Fight, not in a relationship. You sure, know? but a breakup is just because of a fight. That's what happens. Uh, not always. Not if the, a person dies. Is that a breakup then? Well, you're so, awful broken up. Or, you're awful broken up. <laughs> or like, they just join a monastery. <laughs> just tipped it in there. It wasn't a fight. It's just like, I, I gotta go and do this thing. Yeah. It could have been a fight. There was no fight. How do you know? Yeah, there doesn't have mutual to be a breakup. fight when you break up. I mean, there could be a mutual breakup. That might be a little different. But you didn't say mutual breakup. That's different. Uh, a different a ca- breakup different doesn't category. mean a fight and a breakup. It just means that... Well, two people who are in a relationship we're are doing no longer in a relationship. Is we're stipulating a fight and a breakup right here, yeah. and the same thing that was a fight to a new fight. That's what we're stipulating. The, the fight not was someone secondary going to, a monastery. to the breakup, but it's not. If he's it, in a monastery next episode, turn the table. It's not like they're married or anything. They were like just dating. So you're saying so like, that sure, they were in a every, relationship, and every breakup requires a fight, but not every fight requires a breakup is what you're saying. It's remarkable how, somehow, this uh, turned into a fight. I'm not fighting. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just fights like, it's, a fight, so lots of times, can be like, where you take different sides, it's like a mini breakup. But it's you not, can have not a mutual breakup. breakup that's not really fighting. You could have that. You, you have a fight, have and then you could immediately have sex. Yeah, you got back together. That's not. You reconciled, that was a breakup. You that's reconciled not a breakup. breakup. So you were on Ross's side, and the Ross and Rachel, we were on a break. They were probably on a break. So it was okay that he slept with that girl from the coffee place. If they were on a break. Spoilers. You should watch Friends. We should react it's Friends. It's a 20-year-old show, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we should react to Friends. Pivot. <clears throat> no, I like the uh, backwards music stuff, too. Do you think that the hippie was using hypnosis? Or was he just a hippie? It's possible. I mean, maybe he deserved to have his van put into the... Uh, the ravine. ravine. I don't know. Was it in Gravity Falls? Or was it elsewhere? I don't know. But I, we saw young Uncle Stan. He was like a football player. He looked great. Sure. I like going he back and seeing his. definitely looked like he belonged in Rent. He looked like he's lived in a hard rent. life. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Of... So, I know that humans are pattern-seeking people. This is the second episode in a row that the line, that's what they all say, has happened. What's it mean? Last episode, we had McGucket talking about the pigs. He said, that's what they all say! He did, and it was great. And that, this episode, whenever... Uh, license plate. Yeah. That's, that's what, what they, they all say. The goat ate my license plate. That's what they all say. And then Gary hit it. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. we had uh, the one girl run into the vending machine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, has They've been, like, putting our attention on that vending machine. Has without she, it being a like, run that way before, and there was... 
not a vending machine there? We should have glasses meant that, Brian. We should just fuck or that. maybe it's a, it's a nod towards, oh, people suspecting the vending machine. Yeah. That's what they all say, yeah, but they're all they wrong. All say. I don't just, know. Just notice. Maybe, maybe I didn't hear it. Because or, in the maybe show... Maybe I didn't realize it was important in episode 15. But, I'm sure. gonna it. but if it's in 18, I'm going to hear it. In the show, whoever says whatever they all say yeah. is immediately punished. Sure. Like, Seuss was almost eaten, and that one guy was beaten by cops. I guess. While in handcuffs. Happy now, Ariel? That's what they all say. I'm what? cracking this code. What are you talking about? What if it, Happy Now, Ariel is just, like, someone else who, like, man, I really want some kind of boy band in Gravity Falls, and they're just like, Happy Now, Ariel? We did it. Well, probably... Ariel is an anagram for I real. Real like, I. Am I real? Uh, well, maybe you can fix, mix all those letters around. And maybe. Like yeah. Or there's some kind of backwards trick with it where it's like you got to do something with it. Or maybe if you say, Happy Now, Ariel, if you say that and then record it and then put it backwards, it tells you, like, something else. You tried that before. I didn't hear anything. You tried it with Happy Now, yeah. Ariel? Yeah. Lira one, have me. You did. It was pretty good. No, you can't say have me. There's no H there. What? There's what are you pointing at? There's an H at the end. At the end? Yeah. Yeah, why are you ending with have me? Yap. Yapa. Yapa. Yapi. Yapa. Yeah, I was just saying it with the accented yeah. thing. What? You accent an H and you get yeah, E? because it sounds weird whenever you, when you do it. I'm not trying to, like, be perfect. I'm trying to make it sound strange whenever it reflects yep. the words. Because we inflect at different uh, letters and different syllables. Pa? Uh, you get that, though. Because the H, the H would fall off. Fucking. Right? 19, 8, 21, 20, 21, 60. What are you talking about? I'm talking about backwards sounds. I, I like the backwards music stuff. I used to like, well, what did all this stuff say? I mean, Chicago never really had it. But Little Nicky, I think of that. I command you I in the name of, the of Lucifer <laughs> to spread the blood of the... Chicago's yeah. fucking awesome. You know? <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. It just sticks in my head. I There's like... also like the... Another one bites the dust. It sounds like it's fun to smoke marijuana in the back. Like in the backwards. Yeah. You that around. There's uh, another one about... Uh, another one. Shoot, something about a shed, I think it was. I don't know, I think it's, I think stair, stairway to heaven, or something. Well, there like was that. a Beatles one, right? Uh, Ringo is dead, or something like that. Johnny is dead. Something is dead. Maybe I don't yeah, know. Yeah, something. There's a few that like. But it also just doesn't really sound like it. It's yeah. one of those like misheard lyrics things. Like, is it a misheard lyric or it's just like, well, looked at. As sometimes you hear them. and I'm like, I mean, I guess if you, it's like saying that, Duel the Fates is saying Panda. Like it's not. Sure. <laughs> you know? That was the thing I, I was watching on, uh, I think it's called like Brain Games on, I think it was on Disney Plus, mm-hmm. but they had a thing where it's like, listen to this, and it's just like, you know, and just sounds like gibberish almost. Green Needle. Well, kind of, yeah. Brainstorm. Like, when it's like, okay, yeah, listen needle. listen to this, and you hear the guy say a phrase, and then when you hear that sound again, you just relate that phrase to that sound, and now it sounds like it's being said, and it's kind of like that, where like that's some noise, but depending on what you put in your head... You can hear it. Heck, you can put brainstorm, or you can hit green needle, or you can think of like green storm or brain needle, and you can kind of hear both of those too, depending on like what you're trying to think of. It's weird. You know what's weird about like I I've been watching this with Evie, and when I watch this one, I'm curious. I'm curious with your kids too, because like a CD and a record are both pretty like as foreign to her, but I feel like records are less foreign. Sure, my kids have probably not really... I mean, they know of games on Blu-ray, so they probably relate it to, like, a Blu-ray or something like that. Yeah. So that's not too far. Records, they've seen records here. Because I have some records records at home, but I don't really have any CDs at home anymore. It's like the idea that I've said before about, like, you know, pretend to mind that you're on the phone. And people are like, you'll go like this, hello. But, like, this is because we had the landlines, you know? Like, this was a phone. Nowadays, it's just a rectangle. Yeah, Yeah, people do... Hello, this. how's it going? Or, just or they just hold this. it like this, you know, I'm, I'm on the phone. Yeah. So it's just like, as technology and stuff changes, like, what do people relate to what? Like, when you hold your, your smartphone up to your ear, like, how do you hold it? Yeah, like, typically I... And now I take like, it away. Well, I've never but held it looks like I'm just like this. But it just looks no. But yeah. but Eric, do that I again. Films like this. No, but do that again. All right, now you hang up, hang it up, or you can go like this. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, like we really need to be doing this. 
now, right? Yeah. Because like you're holding it like this. Yeah. Because yeah, but it's because it's phone. imitating a phone. Yeah, it's this which, shape now. Yeah. We're like this is just imitating the shape of the phone. Hello. Yeah. To be fair, when I was a kid, when people did this, miming, holding a phone, I would hold the phone receiver like this when I talked because I was like, well, that's how they, that's how it looks when they're not holding a phone. So this is how so they you hold, hold it. the earpiece and the talking piece yeah. like behind it like So this. I could like get some leverage in there and really shove it in my ear. I give a you think before they, people did this? Yeah. Maybe. Like, hey, you want to make a call? Ahoy, ahoy! You going to make a call? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making fun of that? Like, if you were making fun of making a call? Why don't you write a letter? Have, like, when you used to hang up, there was, like, some, like, you would, like, you would hang up so hard that the ringer would go a little bit. Ding! Like, Ding! Yeah. Don't have that anymore. That's true. If you hang up so hard with one of these that the, the phone starts ringing again, you've shoved your finger through the screen. <laughs> My grandma had the... Rotary dial? Yep. And, like, if you don't do it fast enough, it just, like, fucks up. Damn it! Yep. You gotta do it to like wait for the the nine. The wave for the nine is terrible. You gotta do it like as soon as it stops. She would do it with a pencil too. She was so fast. Yeah, you gotta be fast. Man, I can't be that fast anymore. Uh, hell no, not now. Yeah, I, I couldn't do that. Damn. We're old. Not that. Guys, thank you very much for watching these old fucks watching this kid show. But we hope that you enjoyed it, and we hope that you come back next week. Uh, and to help you along with that. You can use this new fangled technology called subscribe in the subscribe button. All right? What's that do? It subscribes. I don't know why old people suddenly have access.